Oh, it seems like YouTube's working. Hmm. I didn't get the notification. What the hell is your picture? I send you the link. The heck? Can you can you see my stream? Hold on. Is this your other YouTube account? Lava is really hot. That should be the one you were looking at. Hold on. Is this your other YouTube account? I see it on my phone. Lava is really hot. That should be the one you were looking at. How come I didn't get a notification that you were streaming? Is this your other YouTube account? I see it on my phone. Lava is really hot. That should be the one you were looking Um, you can't see it on your desktop? No, let me go to YouTube Gaming. Like if you type in the link, yeah, I'm gonna uh, type in the link right now. Okay. Um, but Apple is being retarded. Hold on. see ya. I'm not doing anything too exciting right now. So basically there's uh, this class called the Mystic. It's the newest uh, class in Black Desert Online and uh, at level 56 every class has like a, a sort of a secondary, not secondary, it's like a super weapon um, that they need to like complete some quests for. Uh, it's called an awakening weapon, uh, but that doesn't get released immediately with the class. You have to wait until they release it. And uh, so the Mystic comes first, and then a couple weeks later, the awakening came. And the awakening came out this morning, so I'm trying to get it for her. I see. 
Yeah, she has a, a counterpart called uh, the Striker class, and so and uh, that's my main class. And it's nice because they actually share a lot of the same, uh, or they share the same primary and secondary weapons. Oh, so I don't. Um, so for if I do get her awakening weapon, then I would have to like buy a new awakening weapon, but I can use my striker's equipment otherwise. Um, are you still using that game thing? Yeah, I'm using Game Show. It's a little bit better on YouTube, but it's very pixelated. Yeah, I see. It could just be because my upload is garbage. What is your upload? It's like 10 megabits per second. Shouldn't that be enough, though? I have no idea. I have My download is like 100. Was that Xfinity? It sounds like Xfinity. Yeah, it is. Fucking charging me out the ass for internet and can't even give me good upload speed. Right. <clears throat> is that your unicorn? No, it's just a normal horse. It kind of looks like one, though. Although there is a unicorn, but, like, it, it, getting it is intensely difficult. Like, there are some parts of this game that are just reserved for the lifers. Like, people that just only play this, like, their entire life is playing Black Desert Online. Like, it's absolutely insane. Um, Do you run into any other players? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually surprised I don't see more. But this is sort of a quiet part of the map. Here, I'll show you the map. It's fucking huge. So uh, I'm waiting for it to show up on my stream. I got some time before I get to where I need to go anyway. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, my stream's gonna be pretty boring for a while because the quests are on the other side of the map. But yeah, so you start off in uh, this area that I'm in right now, and then you slowly move like southeast into this big town called Velia. Um, and that's actually where I'm mainly based out of. It's it's pretty small as far as like the towns and cities go, but it's just so central to everything, so it's really convenient for me. And then you move. And then your next town that you visit is Heidel. It's south of Velia. Uh, I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. <coughs> uh, Heidel is uh, much more dense. There's a little castle thing, and then uh, you pass by some smaller towns like uh, Glish and I forgot what this is called, Keplin. Now this area, there's just like a whole bunch of monsters and shit in, in between. Uh, but then you move to like the your first really big city, Calpheon. Calpheon is fucking huge. It's so large that they actually have a portion of Calpheon where uh, they can let you kill shit. Like there's um, <coughs> like uh, poor people or they're sick or something. So that part of town is like um, filled with people that you can kill. Uh, people? Yeah, well, they're being they're they're like rioters or something. I forgot what the story is. Nobody really goes there. To, it's not a good place to like collect money or level up, so nobody goes there. Um, but you you can do it. And then uh, there's some like western stuff, which is nice. They recently, very recently, added uh, Camasilvia, which is a south area. Um, I'm not nearly powerful enough to do the content here. Um, but before you actually get to Camasilvia, you you have to go like all the way fucking east, and then there's like this huge goddamn desert that I haven't even explored. Um, but yet you run into Alta Nova, which is another really big city. It's uh like desert, <coughs> and then you can actually cross the desert. I haven't done that yet. There's another city on the other end called Valencia. A lot of most of the high level content is uh, in the desert areas, uh, but then you can they're they're going to add more ocean stuff. But you can also cross the sea, which I have done the ocean to a very small uh, port called Port Rat, 
And uh, they haven't uh, built out this continent yet, so there's nothing you can explore uh, over here except for Port Rat. But you can, like, fight monsters in the ocean and shit, and whales, and ghost ships. Like, you actually get a ship with cannons on it, and you can you can fight them. Wow, this, th this game's huge. Yeah, no, no, it's absolutely fucking large. So that, that's why I said that, like, it's going to be kind of boring to watch for a little while, because, like... When it, it's not on the other side of the map, like across the desert, but as far as uh, this western continent goes, uh, it's on the other side of the continent. So, uh, it looks like I'm halfway there. Uh, you can take in some of the sites. It's actually a very beautiful game. Uh, they've definitely optimized it more over, over time, which is nice. <coughs> I really should have healed my horse before I uh, before I came over here. Let me see. Your oh, horse gets tired. Yeah, I saw another player. Oh, there's another player. Yeah, when you go into the, I'll, I'll show you some of the more densely. Like we're about to pass Heidel anyway, and Heidel is also a really popular city to set uh, set up in. You can set up in, like, multiple cities if you wanted, but generally, like, um, there's going to be one city where you pull <coughs> together the vast majority of your assets, as well as, uh, more, most importantly, your money, because uh, if you want to buy stuff from the marketplace, um, you like, it doesn't just take money from, like, your overall, uh, like, all the money you own everywhere, it's just, like, in that town, so... Uh, most people have, like, a, a main city they go back to. So, like, you're going to see a lot of people here. Um, yeah, there's, like, a gazillion horses. My stream's going to catch up in a second. And it actually, like, takes time for the PC to load everything in. Wait, that's not why I came here, actually. <clears throat> Yeah, so on the stream, like, you can't see anything right now, but if you, uh, after I talk to this guy and exit, you'll see, like, there's a fucking legion of people. Wow. Yeah, and this is just Heidel. Like, there are, uh, there are a lot of people in Velia, a lot of people in Kelfion. Do you fight other people? You can. There's PvP. I'm not very good at it, but... There's actually a, they recently added a PvP channel, so you can go there and uh, PvP is enabled all the time. Alright, back on the journey. So yeah, this is like an example of, uh, a, I guess, a different type of PC game that's offered. It's not like first person shooter, or third person for that matter. I think they're going to release like a, a early version of this on Xbox. Uh, I don't know how that's going to go. The I think the combat is definitely suited for it. Like there're definitely some MMOs where um like the combat simply is not like can't be supported by a controller. Like there's too much clicking. Um but the combat for Black Desert Online is very unique. It's actually a big reason why people uh really like this game. And given the opportunity, I would like to show you some of the combat. Uh, I will get there soon, actually. Let me speed this up a little bit. So there's auto-traveling, which is nice. Uh, like, you pick a destination, hit T, and you just, like, automatically move that way. But it's slower, so... Yeah, I can see on my stream it's, like, crazy pixelated. really not doing the game justice. It might also be because, like, my resolution is at, like, 1440. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, even though you're in 1440, you could still output at 10... Well, at YouTube, it's 1080, the highest you could output at. All right, let me, uh, let me try and redo this stream real quick, then.
All right, I just uh, it should be up again. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I just uh, it should be up again. Yeah, it's much clearer now. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I just uh, it should be up again. What'd you do? Yeah, it's much clearer now. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, one second. All right, I, 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 I should be up again.